we're going to be cleaning out the carbon in your engine using the water decarbonisation method. All you're going to need is one of these and some water. Now you don't necessarily need one of those but I chose one of those because it keeps it consistent and it's clean. So let's do it. When you're doing this make sure the car is up to temperature as you can see there and to hold it on about two and a half thousand revs. If you don't have anyone with you use the car mat use the car mat and just wedge it between the accelerator and the brake like this. Okay, we're going to start by removing the intake hose. Now, this is the hose that goes into the manifold. You can see I'm just backing it off there. Once you've got it off, try and ease it off with the screwdriver and lift it up so you've got access to it. And you're ready to go. With your water in your bottle, just start to get a little um, consistent flow and start putting it into the, to, into the uh, inlet manifold. Into the inlet hose, I should say. And because the hose is in a slightly awkward position, what I did was I removed the straw from inside the bottle so I could hold it in an upside down um, angle. This would give me better access into actually shooting water into the space itself, into the actual hose itself as you can see there. It's important to expect the, the revs to fluctuate. This is this is where the um, the water is actually making it into the cylinder and doing the work that we want it to do. Because we know a cleaner cylinder is a cleaner engine and it will work better like that. So don't 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 be too worried about it. Try not to kill the engine with the water. And as long as you put it in this sort of proportion, the engine will be fine. If you start putting cups of water in there, that's when you could potentially encourage what they call hydro locking. Um, and it's not, you don't want to be hydrolocking anything, you don't want to be putting yourself in that situation, but that is quite extreme. But if you're using a method similar to what I'm doing here, your engine will be fine, it will be safe, and, and everything will go according to plan. In this video, I think I used about a pint of water. Um, that seemed enough for me. When it seemed to be managing it okay and it sounded better, you hear the, the engine start to sound different, that's when I decided to stop. Now, depending on how old your car is or how many mileage it's got on it, um, you could do this as regularly as you want. I mean, if it's got particularly high mileage and, you, and, it's, and it's running lumpy, I would say once every three months, once a month between that sort of ratio. But if your car's been pretty well maintained, then just, just do it once every six months for every service. It's so easy, you can do it when you want. So that's my advice. Once you've finished doing the water cleaning, water cleansing, decarbonisation, whatever you want to call it, fit the car back up and take it for a test drive. Okay, just back after decarbonising the car with water, the water method, I have to say, an immediate effect. Um, immediately notice less smoke, less smoke on change down. Um, more responsive through the gears. I even the turbo was more um, whistly, a lot more of that going on, and it was generally more responsive. It's a very safe method, um, and yeah, definitely try it. I would advise it. As you know, the theory is the the water goes into the cylinders, and it actually melts the carbon what's inside the actual cylinders itself and everything around it. Now, apparently, it water expands. 1,500 times under combustion. I, I don't know exactly how true or not true that is, but it sounds good. And um, yeah, so I advise definitely try it. Be good for your car, it won't do it no harm. Um, yeah, and oh, this would be fine on old cars as well. Some of the old cleaners, some of the other injector cleaners would actually melt some of the rubbers that are inside the car. Um, for me, this is a much more natural method of, of, of cleaning the inside of your car rather than using them dodgy oil products because you've got to remember fundamentally oil is what creates the carbon inside the engine so you know you're using dirty water to mop the floor if that makes sense so for me this is a far more natural method and um yeah try it glad that helped well i hope it helped 
Um, it helps me <laughs> comment, rate, subscribe, and um, enjoy the videos. And remember, the truth rules. Thank you.